breaking news in our ongoing aid on your side investigation. Guess who else was kept in the dark about this massive sinkhole at Mosaic and the threat it posed to our water supply? Late on your side has confirmed that Florida's Department of Environmental Protection also failed for weeks to inform Governor Rick Scott. And our senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews broke the story about this dirty little secret. Following his reports, the state and Mosaic are now testing the wells of neighbors nearby. That's right. We uh, got some more results back today from those tests. They show radioactive water that fell into the aquifer did not reach the wells of neighbors yet. James Maxwell now knows water taken from his well for testing on September 19th met federal and state drinking water standards. At least that's what the company hired by Mosaic told him. His words were, the water I tested last Monday is okay. And what about today? <laughs> yes, that remains to be seen. According to ECT Incorporated, test results released today show radioactive water that escaped through this sinkhole into the aquifer did not reach nine residential wells by the time samples were taken from them. That doesn't mean those wells are still in the clear. The results are a snapshot of what that well was producing on Monday the 19th. Our investigation confirmed that for 19 days, neither Mosaic nor the Florida Department of Environmental Protection alerted neighbors to the potential threat this sinkhole posed to their wells. Who else did they keep this from? Governor, when did you find out about this water loss incident? They, the, Jerry can get you the, the timeline of when we did it. So, Was it so it's 24 hours after it happened? He should get the exact timeline, so I say it right. Late today, we received this email. It states the governor's office was notified September 16th. The day after our first report aired, DEP kept the governor in the dark. Governor, did DEP keep you in the dark? And if so, are you going to fire Secretary Steverson? Well, we're in, we're in the middle of an ongoing investigation. As, uh, I'm not going to fire Secretary Steverson based on anything I know today. Uh, he, he followed the law. One of the biggest potential environmental disasters in Florida this century, and News Channel 8 viewers knew about it before the governor. So, Governor, now you know the answer to one question I asked you. You were informed September 16th. Now, I'm waiting for the answer to the other question. Since DEP kept you in the dark, are you going to fire Secretary John Steverson? Heck, I would. We don't know yet. That's no right. answer, right? Right. Okay, right. let's go back to the well testing, because that's the people, our viewers watching, and sure. worried about their water. Yep. This isn't the end of the line just because the first round of tests came back clean. Well, right? they have more tests scheduled, but for James Maxwell, wants to know the answer to that question, because he's not comfortable with the results. And quite frankly, you know, DEP and Mosaic kept all of this hidden from the governor, so I'm wondering, what else are they not telling us? And I think that's the key, too, and I think that's why there's such an uproar over this. I mean, we do a story, and the governor doesn't even know. He can't answer your questions till days later. You're getting a notification today that he found out after our report. Right. I mean, and who knows what's to come, Steve? There's it, more to go on it this makes one, right? you, It makes you wonder, yeah. makes you scratch your head, and we're going to stay on top and, of this. And no sign of Steverson, by the way. Where is this guy? Hiding. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. And we want you to know that you can request a water test from Mosaic if you'd like. The telephone number's on your screen, 813-500-6575. We also have that number posted on our website, WFLA.com.